Hi guys and welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime video. The second in a week there must be something funny in the water. And that is because finally the Jelly Bean update has arrived for the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, some of you have been sending me comments on the previous video telling me how uh, wonderful it is that they've finally got Jelly Bean and they've been able to download it. Whereas I have been for the past 48 hours doing this. And it's been telling me for the last 48 hours that no update is available. But finally, my check update button has greyed out. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, we have this little arrow here to tell me that the Asus uh, system firmware update service has a new update. And I can only presume that this is now a jelly bean that's finally arrived. So this is going to be a live update. I'm going to update it right now and then do some quick tests on it to see how it performs. And just as a kind of encouragement to my Asus Transformer Prime, what I'm going to do is play something in camera as well, just to give it a little bit of a reminder uh, why you need to uh, perform today, uh, Mr. Transformer Prime. We will leave the Google Nexus 7 sitting menacingly, menacingly in the corner and see what the Transformer Prime does. So, let's kick things off and see how the update goes. Now, I'm not going to uh, do all of this on camera because there'll be some bits where it's just um, doing some progress bars and so on, but uh, uh, well, I'll do as much as I can and then just cut out of the video and then cut back in. So, it's saying that a new system firmware is ready to update and um, it's saying that please be advised that this version of Android will not support Adobe Flash or Wi-Fi Direct. Uh, Adobe Flash is something that you can fix no problem and I'll show you how to do that. Wi-Fi Direct I've never used so I must admit don't really know what that is. Uh, so I'm going to press install and let it do its stuff. So it looks as if now it's doing its usual uh, checks and installs. So I'll stop the camera now. Uh, if any errors do come up I'll uh, bring the camera rapidly back on. Uh, but for now we'll just sit and wait and see what happens. Okay, welcome back to the party. Uh, the tablet has now updated itself. It took about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I haven't done anything with it yet. I've not even got past the unlock screen yet. Uh, so I'm just going to go straight into this and see what happens if the screen stops turning itself off. Uh, the one thing I can note straight away is that the bar down here, it's showing three bars now for the Wi-Fi, which it didn't before, uh, which uh, could mean that the Wi-Fi has been improved, but uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, so let's just in go straight in and see what the performance is like. The one thing you'll notice now, of course, is that there is now a Google uh, thing here uh, to send you straight to this Google search type uh, thing for voice activations and Google cards and so on. But I'm not, in not interested in that today. So uh, please stop turning yourself off. Right, so unlocked and straight away we're in and it doesn't look any different to what it was previously. So let's just check that it has actually updated to a new system. And as you can see there, right in the middle, uh, it says Android version 4.11, which is Jelly Bean. And I think if I tap it loads of times, I'll be able to do that quick test. So if you didn't know that, if you just tap it loads of times, it shows you a Jelly Bean. And if you long press on that, it turns it into lots of other Jelly Beans. So there's a quick tip for you. Okay. Let's move uh, away from that. I have to say, actually, the screen looks very nice. I don't know if there's been an improvement in the um, screen display, but it looks gorgeous. Uh, but that might just be my eyes deceiving me. Okay, uh, so what do I do first? Let's just play on a random map and see how well it works. I'm going to go into Google Maps and see how quickly that loads. Mm, I would say average to sluggish Wi-Fi performance there. Uh, let's turn it to satellite mode and see how quickly it loads up the satellite. Not too bad. That was okay, I guess. So we'll come out of that. Let's um, try. Uh, interesting here, if you can notice, there's two uh, icons here, or two uh, apps here with no icons. Oh, which is curious, and it actually says uh, Google Plus. It says that the um, app isn't installed, which is wonderful. Um, not sure why that is, but um, we'll forgive it that for the time being. 
Um, presumably Chrome hasn't been installed. It's basically done a firmware update, but it hasn't put on any of the new applications that come with uh, Jelly Bean on the Nexus, which is still lurking here in the uh, background. You get Chrome um, with that. Uh, so let's just try the browser and see what happens. I will we'll just go to a random website, which is going to be the BBC. It's not really a random website because I always go to the BBC. Let's do the uh, desktop sites. And that was quite fast actually. Let's um, go to the news. Not as fast that time, so that was a bit slow. I think it's still got its usual spiky um, Wi-Fi wi performance issues. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens when I try and play a video. Let's see if it is saying that Flash is no longer supported. Which it is. So I will show you how to get Flash now while we're on the subject. Uh, simply go to your search and if you type in, this should be sufficient to get Flash on your machine. If you just uh, type in Flash APK, um, which is the an APK is an Android um, install file basically. Uh, the top one here will give me a link to the XDA forums which should, with any luck, give me a link to a file I can download. Well, I'm still having to tap and wait for the uh, website to load. So it's falling down on the most important thing again which is the Wi-Fi performance. I have to say, but this is an early impression, but I have to say, if the, wi if the Wi-Fi hasn't been improved, then it's still really a dog's dinner. Right, that's finished downloading there. Or at least it's in the middle of doing so. I will uh, do some tests against the Nexus 7 in a minute about Wi-Fi. So that's now install, um, it's finished downloading that. And what I should be able to do now is press on that. It's saying that I can't install it because of security reasons. All you need to do is go to settings and you need to tick here where it says unknown sources. So that means yes, I will install I'm happy to install from anywhere. Go back to the install and now I can install Flash. So that's a very quick way to get around the problem of Flash not being on the system. And that should now mean that if I go back to my uh, BBC uh, page with any look now I should be able to go to that very same video which now has a question mark on it And I've all got question marks on it, so it looks as if the default uh, browser is now locked out of Flash. So we'll have to fix that by downloading a, another browser. These are all the things that you've got to think of and consider. Uh, one browser that I know that works is Firefox, so we'll toddle off to the Firefox browser and install that bad boy which hopefully is not going to take too long 18 meg bit of finger tapping I have to do here one thing I will do while it's downloading that is I'm going to do on the Nexus 7 I'm going to do a speed test I'll do the speed test as soon as it finishes downloading in here so I'll do a speed test on here show you how fast the Nexus 7 is and then compare it against the um, Asus Transformer Prime so that's now installed so I can begin my speed test we'll leave that going uh, for now just leave it on the background and I'll 
tell you the results as soon as it's finished. Well, I'll, I won't tell you the results on that yet. What I'll do is I'll do the same test on uh, the Asus Transformer Prime as well. So I just need to download speed test. I do apologise if this is stuff you're not really interested in seeing, but you kind of seen the, the workings of a, how I make a video. I'm just going to leave it filming instead. Right, so we'll let that install. I'll go back to Firefox now, and we shall see if this is any better for playing Flash. As you can see, I'm jumping around applications and pages and websites, and uh, there's no uh, application not responding errors, which is nice. But again, I'm having to sit and wait for a page to load, and I don't know if it's going to do that. I'll try the refresh button. Don't know why I had to press the refresh button there, but Hey ho! So finally we'll go to this video and we'll see if we can play it this time on this web browser. Which I think we can because it's going to tell me to tap to, tap to activate. So this is Flash now kicking in and it should play this video. So, you may have to change your browser I can tell you for certain that Dolphin browser doesn't work uh, with Flash, but now this is evidence that it is working. I'll see if I can turn the sound up. Well, we might have a problem right there because there's no sound. So no sound working on Flash. That's probably something else I'll have to investigate. There is sound working on the tablet though, I can confirm that. Let's just check the volumes are working. So the sound is working. I'll just try that one more time. I'll try another video and see if we have any luck with this one. So Flash uh, and the sound don't seem to be agreeing with each other, at least on the BBC website, which is a bit of a disappointment. What I'll do now is I'll do the speed test. That's just telling me I've got compatibility zoom, which is jolly nice, but I don't really care about that. So we'll begin the test. Okay, test completed. Let's compare the two devices. I'm not sure if the Nexus 7 is going to stand up here. So I'm going to zoom right in. So as you can see, the um, Asus Transfer Prime has a ping of 56, 4 AA, 1096. The numbers really, uh, in terms of their overall number, it's a bit meaningless. It's a comparison between the two. And it actually shows here that the two are very similar in performance, but I can guarantee you that if I do Wi-Fi tests on both of them now, the Nexus 7 will probably trounce the Asus Transformer Prime. So let's do that. Let's see what happens. Let's do the maps again. So loading up the maps at the same time. So we're going to tell them both to go to New York. And let's see how they perform. So, let's go. So the Nexus 7 there, dominating the Asus uh, Transformer Prime. Let's go to Sydney and see what happens. So here we go again. Closer that time. I think uh, the Nexus 7 
won it by a shade of game, but the Ace of Transformer Prime was uh, not too far off there. So, early impressions are that performance wise, the uh, Transformer Prime seems to be um, a bit more stable and quicker. Um, I'm still concerned about the Wi Fi letting it down, but to be fair, the uh, Nexus 7 wasn't really doing itself uh, much justice there either. The one caveat I will add is that, that I'm quite a far dis away, away from my um, router at the moment, about 20 to 30 feet, so that could be causing a problem. So, what I will do is I will do some more playing about and tests, and I'll do some more videos soon about uh, Jelly Bean on the Asus Transformer Prime. So, uh, sorry for the a uh, slightly chaotic fashion of this video. I just wanted to do a test straight away to see how they worked. If you have any general questions, maybe give me some ideas of uh, videos you want me to do about um, Jelly Bean on the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, let me know. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again soon in another Asus Transformer Prime video. I'll be concentrating on this for a little while. Thanks for watching.